Yesterday, I introduced the concept of risk layering from business continuity plans. Most business continuity plans look at one risk. They don't look at two risks. Why? Because in most cases, one risk hits for a short duration of time. This pandemic isn't going to be short-lived. Whether or not we return in the near term to some degree of normalcy, there will be some key changes in how we operate. So now is the time to look at risk layer. I created a free template. You can download it from our wex website, covidblackswan.com. Completely free, no obligation, no givens. When you download it, it's a brainstorming tool to start thinking about what are the key risks that could introduce themselves on top of the current COVID black swan crisis and what would be their impact, both in terms of probability of occurring and two, in terms of the impact that that layered risk would have on your business success. The goal is to prioritize those that have a high impact and a higher probability. It's not about identifying everything that could go wrong. It's about finding the things that are more likely to happen. So if you are not in an earthquake low zone, don't worry about earthquakes. If you're in a high likelihood area for earthquakes like California or most of the West Coast, then you should consider what would happen if an earthquake would have to layer themselves on top of the current pandemic. Then start thinking about how you could mitigate that current risk. Build action plans, easy, quick hits that make a difference. So for example, if you have a critical billing system that's on a server that's being stressed, it could fail in this key moment and you need the cash that it generates from the billing, then maybe you could consider moving it to the cloud or creating more backups. Something simple, easy to do, not something that will take you six months to execute on. But now is the time to take one hour with your leadership team to brainstorm those key layered risks that could have an impact, use the free template to help you facilitate through that dialogue and understand what could happen and be prepared even if it's unlikely to happen, it could. Why? Because the weather, the environment and the planet won't wait for this pandemic to happen before the risk goes away. Thank you.